last week we were talking here in the scriptures in Isaiah, and the Bible tells us in Isaiah that there are hidden riches in secret places. And last week we looked at, I believe, the probably the most important uh, rich secret uh, riches in secret places that God has is his covenant with his children. And the fact that, that you and I, we listen, God made a covenant with us and it's unbreakable and he will never let it go. Uh, we'll never be out from any of this covenant once we're saved. But I want to give you a number two uh, of the hidden riches in secret places. And that is the intimate shadow and the presence of God. You see, the world doesn't understand the intimacy that you and I can have with a God. And, the, and so I believe that is a hidden rich in secret places. In Psalms 91, verse 1 and 2, think about what this says. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and him will I trust. Now, here's what I'm saying to you. God says there are hidden riches in secret places. I'm saying to you, according to Psalms 91, that the Bible teaches us that, that the, there's an intimate shadow. There is an intimate presence of God that we can know. I'm going to read that Psalms 91, verse two, 1 and 2 again. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. So God has a secret place, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now listen, when you're under the shadow of something, that means you are extremely close to it. And so God says that in this, in this secret place, there's a hidden treasure, there's hidden riches. And that is what? Is that you get to abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In Psalm 68, 24, it says, They have seen thy goings, O God, even the goings of my God, my King, where? In the sanctuary. Now, if you were to go back and you look at that word sanctuary, what it means is in his presence. In other words, it's the child of God has this right to go into the secret places of God and experience the, the sanctuary, the, the presence of Almighty God. Uh, the, the Bible tells us in Psalms 91 verse 2, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. It's in, in the secret place you and I can experience a place of refuge and, and fortress for us. The Bible tells us in Psalms 9.9, it says the Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. See, God has a secret thing, this, this hidden riches this, in secret places. And that is what? Is, there's a refuge in him. There's a refuge in him. In Psalm 63, 2, it says this, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I've seen thee in the sanctuary. So there it is again, that word sanctuary is in his presence. He says in the, there's a place, it's a secret place, and in that place you see the glory and you see the power of God. And so here's what I want to say to you today, as I want you to get yourself in the presence of God. I was reading my devotion the other day, and it says this, it says, it, it's insinuate it's there. It says that there's, a, there's power in his presence. And, and you are as a child of God, you are invited to come in and experience the hidden re, re, riches in secret places. And we'll take up here next week and do another one. Don't, don't miss it. Okay.